How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And I want to let you guys know the private group is here. Whether you're an investor or you're a trader and you're looking to build wealth inside the stock market, then this group is for you. If you're interested, you can find the link down inside the description. We'll be happy to have you a part of the family. So today what we're going to be talking about is Exola stock. Of course, I had to give you guys an update, gave you an update yesterday, and we had a strong day inside of the market. Many inside the private group had the opportunity to take advantage. We sent out those alerts, and you know what? They made some money, but let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to be covering, of course, is the technical analysis. We want to see the overall price action, and in this particular situation, we're actually taking a look at the one-year chart. Since we are seeing a lot more price strength, we want to see what is the next level for excellence to actually get to and if it's able to actually reach these particular levels we can end up seeing a strong move to the upside and I want to make sure you're aware of that and then afterwards we're gonna be taking a look at the order flow distribution we want to know is there any buying or selling going on amongst institutions are they loading up we want to see what it was we know it was a choppy market but at the same time it's very key that we understand these metrics so we have a good idea to see how it looks like as this week progresses and then when all of that is done I'll be giving you guys my final thoughts and as well as some more details so let's jump into it so we're gonna be doing a technical analysis for Exola so let's see how it closed on the day so it's at three dollars and 29 cents being up 22.76 percent on the low we ended up testing two dollars and 26 cents then on the high testing three dollars and 34 cents so first and foremost you want to see how is it lining up with their indicators you can see from the our side down below we're definitely looking hot here being at 75 Point six two. I mean, this is no surprise because we are on a run. And as far as the indicators on the chart, of course, we're going to be above the 21 day EMA as well as the 200 and as well as the 100 day. So what we are seeing from Exela right now at the moment and after hours when I'm seeing the price is around $3 and 15 cent at the time of this recording at 526 PM. One thing to do keep in mind of the fact Exela definitely has some potential, still has some more gas left in it. But for many, especially the ones who are inside the private group they ended up doing some quick trades making some quick profits and this is not a bad idea for a stock like this but one thing to also keep an eye on we do have a gap that needs to be filled here so there is a potential where Exela can actually get up to this 350 level if it's able to get to this three dollar and fifty cent level I think things can get fairly interesting here but of course you'd want to see some strength and we also want to see some support in this particular area if it is able to do this then I would not be shocked to see it get to the 360 level and then wanting to test close to four so what I would do and make sure you have a strategy in place or knowing those areas of support when asked about it earlier during the day from the private group members I was saying if you see strength around this 270 area and you see support and you see consolidation which we saw today then we can look forward to seeing a strong move to the upside and getting into the threes and that's exactly what we got getting to around 332 during intraday so taking everything into consideration I would definitely be keeping an eye on Exela especially going into tomorrow to see how well it could hold up at this three dollar range and then after make a plan from there especially if it's able to reclaim 350. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for Exela. So we can see here on the inflow, we had 218 and on the outflow, we had 165. Of course, this is in the millions as well. So on the large, we had 59 compared to the 46 that we had on the outflow. On the medium, we had 126 compared to the 94 we had on the outflow. And on the small, we had 32. And on the outflow side, we had 24. When we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, we've already looked at the previous days, but we could see today it was at 12.95. And of course, this is in the millions here. So so yes, institutions were loading up today on Exela stock. So what does this mean as far as the rest of the week progressing? I want to see some more moves to the upside. I, I got to be honest with you guys here. One thing that we want to be aware of, we want to see how well it holds up 
at the $3 range, especially near the end, not even near the end, but at the end of after hours. If it's able to do that, I can look forward to seeing some strength in this play. Now let's jump into the final thought. So for my final thoughts for Exela Technologies, it's definitely going to be an interesting day tomorrow. One thing that I want to see, I want to see if it's going to be able to hold up the $3 level. Even if it doesn't, then I want to see some strength when it's holding up around the area of $2.82. If it is able to do this, then I'm looking forward to seeing that move back to three and then going much higher. We're going to have to see what it actually looks like. So if I'm going to be getting into a position, I'll be looking into getting either at that 282 range or right around the $3 range to see what would happen. This is not financial advice or a strategy for you to do, but this is how I would look at it if I was considering to get into a position right now. The next thing we got to take into consideration, when I saw the short interest, it was just over 30%. When the numbers come out later on in the evening, we will definitely be looking forward to that. You guys can drop that down inside the comment section as well. But what that tells us is there's still a good amount of short squeeze potential in this play. We also have to take into consideration the press release that they came out with today. They know that, hey, we did this offering and then they gave an update saying, you know what, we're going to use it to pay down on some of our expenses and it also improves our overall cash position. So just hearing this overall in general does help the overall operations and makes the business look even a lot better. And institutions have taken notice of this and this is why there's no surprise here that we're seeing some large scale orders, especially in this stock and it's been going on for days now. So taking this all into consideration, I'm looking forward to seeing even a big spike from Exila going down for tomorrow. But if it doesn't happen, that's okay. I know many inside the private group were able to catch you alert and make some profits off of it. So hey, so if we got to stay on the sidelines or wait for the right opportunity to present itself, we don't mind doing that because we never chase plays. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.